Pedro with Glenn Travis Campbell. He's a plinging along in the background. I got to turn it down, though. I'll get in Facebook trouble. Hold on. Oh, man, that's good, though. All right, now listen. We's on an important mission. See right here? Now, I've showed my longtime listeners that down there before. That is a farm where it has come to my attention that almost within a 100% reasonable degree of certainty, and that seems to be okay these days, you know, facts, they just don't matter. You just make up stuff. But anyway, it has come to my attention that that is where Elvis Presley and Tupac Shakur have been holed up since their supposed quotation marks deaths in quotation mark and see now I've been doing some extra heavy duty work on that deal but I'm not going to break it loose I'm fixed to release the Woodrow Wilson report remember the Woody Willie report like was that like that report day and it but I've been I'm doing some, boy, I'm really doing some good reporting, and I got, we got all of Phoebe's friends. There's Phoebe. We got all of Phoebe's friends named just numbers now. So we, we're going to have cow one, cow two, all the way down through. We, we, there's so many of them out there. I thought it was only going to be about eight or nine, but, but we got 49, we got cow down to 49 and then I had to have bull one so there's 50 so anyway you know if you're a bull though that's kind of a dead giveaway if you're the only one I'm gonna have to rethink that maybe maybe I can get that bull to become a gelding no that ain't what you call them when it's a bull you call them a speaking of bulls did you know a steer did you know them um, our good friends uh, Jody and Hugh they's in the cattle business they know all about it you know they can tell you and everything and and jody says she can't name the cows because you know they they're going to become mcdonald's sooner or later but anyway uh what they did uh was they now they bought a half a bull so i said well i hope you got the right half and she said yeah i think we did and so what they do they's basically pimps for a bull I got thinking about that. They just run that. Hold on. There you go. They put a, probably got to advertise. They's probably got beef tender, like a beef tender or a beef date inside or a beef grinder or whatever them things is. I keep hearing t people talk about it. it. Makes me think of food. But anyway, uh, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, here, Jody. So they's gonna get rich, you know, by being uh, pimps for a dang bull. Now that's something I could do. That requires little to nothing input on my part. Now not being the bull, not doing that. Oh, my time's passed on that. Anyway, look how beautiful that sky is over there, that sun coming up. All right, so, oh, there goes All right, so anyway, so that's what I was gonna tell you about you know, and they got Sunshine Store and Grocery. They got a lot. They're like entrepreneurs. They got, they got, they own that. Look at that little horse. They own half a bull. There's some other horses. Hey, this guy one time. Oh, they own a half a bull, and then they own some other cows, and then they got a, then he usually does a fishing guiding and stuff like that. And they always are putting on a show there at the uh, Sunshine Store Cafe. Look at that pretty pastel sky over there. Ain't that beautiful? All right, I'm. I will play just a little bit here. Maybe I won't get Facebook trouble. Hold on. Yeah, I can't play no more of that one, boy. I tell you, they they crack down on that stuff now. And I, Fat Boy Slim, he got me all. Let's feed me some. See, where'd you go? Oh, there she go. All right. Well, that's long enough. I just was gonna tell you that about whatever it was I told you that story about. Oh, and I'll tell you another thing. Old Fat Boy Slim, he's got him all these security cameras, you know, and he, he can flip around and see who's on the front porch and everything like that. So I said, well, Fat Boy, what are you going to do if somebody just comes along and spray paints over that? And he said, yeah, you know, that's a... He said, that's a weakness that could be exploited, is exactly what he said. He's always so prim and proper. All right, look, look at that sky. 
All right, well, that's Woody Willie. We's out, over and out. Have a good day, boy. It's pretty right now. It's only 73 degrees, and it's about, what time is it? 622 in the morning, and we's headed up. We done been to one place, now we's going to another. Can't tell you no more than that. All right, let's see who's here. Fair and young. All right, everybody, don't forget to go eat at Sunshine Store and Cafe, and don't forget to check out Billstown now. They got a big deal coming up. Oh, yeah, the big surprise. On September 21, in 1920... <coughs> <coughs> <Thanks>. <coughs> Fat Boy Slim keeps buying them sunflower seeds because he wants to save $2 on a damn bag that <coughs> ain't got no black oil on them, and they always get stuck in the throat. All right, so anyway, on September 21st, and I'll be doing more talking about it, uh, number 49, he's doing a tape thing about it. They's, did you know up in Sheriff Bill Gilkey, and he and I have been, you know, we's on the, we's on the, you know, we's on the up and up with each other. We's, see, he made me yell County 99. I'm the official Bigfootologist up there, and he, I have been in on this from the very beginning, but he just now announced it, that on September 21, up there in Yale County, Danville, They's going to have the river bottom, I forget the name of it, but I just know him as a squatchy that stays wet all the time. But anyway, some river bottom, something or other. I'll, post, I'll, be, I'll get the interview with Sheriff Bill Gilkey because i got to go up and get this gravitized stigmatitis. Uh, I have to be recertified on that. All right, well, okay, everybody, I'm not going to hang up now. Boy, I went over on this one. I'm, but I'm so excited about it. So many, there's so many things I'm excited about, I can hardly even stand it. All right, reach out, give a helping hand, quit hating on each other. Hell, we's all in this together. Oh, look at them little goats. Now, you know, I used to drive along. Me and Phoebe used to go on this way, and they had that guy had them little goats that would always faint. Well, that's got to be hard on them. I mean, have you ever seen one of them happen? They just stiffen up all over like they's dead. Uh, but anyway, I'd always go by and blow the horn, three or four of them would fall over. So I think I stopped by one day, was going to film them, and he said, well, I moved them to another pasture because everybody's screwing around with them. <laughs> I didn't tell him I was one of them. All right, everybody, reach out, give a helping hand. Woody loves you. He loves you. And, you know, we got to get him a little more love in this world. All right, bye.